Hi viewers, I am Dr. Imbelevan, Faculty, School of Management, Shastra University. Now, we are going to discuss about the introduction to general insurance. Insurance contract involves a contractual agreement in which the insurer agrees to provide financial protection against specified risk for a price or consideration known as the premium. Insurance is a contract between insurer that is company and insured that is the participant or the policy holder. The insurance is a process by which the funds pooled by the insurer is used to compensate the few who might suffer the losses caused by a peril. Every individual, family and business organization needs insurance for inherent risk exposure to which they are exposed. Insurance seeks to redress the assured from the financial consequences of the loss exposure in the event of the uncertain event happening, resulting in a loss of his assets or properties or even income earnings. General insurance in particular may be considered as a mechanism for protection of insurance value of asset as every asset lost only for certain period of lifetime but due to accident or unfortunate extended event an asset may not lost for the expected lifetime the event or accident which may cause loss is called a peril if the peril is insured under any policy issued by an insurer, the loss is payable to the insured. Thus, insurance is sharing of the losses of a few who are unfortunate to suffer such losses amongst those exposed to similar uncertain events, situations and the losses. It includes maybe a physical, a car, uh, example car or building, uh, maybe a non-physical, a goodwill uh, name, etc. Maybe a personal, example loss of eyes, limbs uh, and uh, any part of the body. So we can summarize that uh, insurance is actually a combination of three elements. Usually, these are all the elements of uh, general insurance. Uh, number one is a transfer system. Number two, a business. Number three, a contract. So, these are all the three important elements of uh, um, insurance, okay, in general insurance, okay. So, first we discuss about the insurance as a transfer system, okay. Insurance as a transfer uh, system. Insurance uh, <coughs> enable a person because under this system insurance enables a person, family or uh, business to transfer the cost of losses to an insurance company. In turn, the company pays for the insured losses and distributes the cost of losses among all insurance thus the key elements of insurance as a as a transfer system refers to transferring a risk from the insured to the insurance company which is finally sound and has the capacity and willingness to take risk okay so here the capacity and willingness to take is very very important okay willingness to willingness to take risk is very very important the person transfer the consequences of a loss to the company 
thereby exchanging the possibility of a large loss for the uh, certainty of a much smaller periodic payment system i mean periodic payment that mean premium for transferring a cost of loss it is not necessary for a loss to exist loss to occur or exist okay a mere possibility of a loss constitute a loss exposure that can be insured or transferred the loss exposure can give rise to three types of losses namely property loss liability loss and human and personal personal loss so number one is property loss number two is liability loss number three is human and personal loss on the other hand sharing of risk implies the pooling of a premium paid by the insured insurance into a fund out into a fund out of which the losses are paid as and when they occur okay on the other hand sharing of risk implies the pooling of premiums paid by the insurance insurance and uh, a fund out of which uh, the loss are paid as and when they occur okay thus the loss of insurance is to protect insured asset from the financial consequences of loss but not all risk are insurable but insurance conveys only pure risk okay the next uh, topic is insurance as a business <coughs> definitely insurance is also a business of insurance company that's all as a business insurance primarily attempt to meet its cost and expenses from the premium that is earned and also make a reasonable margin of profit for its own substantiality uh, own sustainability as a premium insurance primarily attempt to meet its cost and expenses from the premium that it earns and also make a reasonable margin of profit for its own substan sub sustainability of its own sustainability as a business organization it provides jobs to millions of people in life and non life insurance company agencies brokers for so here the insurance company or organization gives and provides uh, job opportunity to the people and also a uh, life and insurance uh, non life insurance agencies brokers for etc the various operations of these companies include marketing underwriting claims handling um, rate making and information uh, processing as a business concern is also needs to satisfy the regulators insurance and uh, <coughs> other of its financial stability therefore to protect the consumers the regulator monitors the rates policy forms solvency margins and also investigate complaints and consumer grievances in addition to payment of losses in addition to payment of losses they also investigate complaints and consumer grievances they also investigate complaints and consumer grievances in addition to payment of losses the business of insurance offers several benefits to individuals and families and to the society as a whole such as the following are the services they are providing payments for the cost of covered losses reduction of the insured financial uncertainty efficient use of resources then support for credit support for 
then satisfaction of uh, legal requirements satisfaction of business requirements source of investment funds for uh, infrastructure development reduction of social burden so these are all the main services or uh, the benefits which are given to the individuals and families uh, and the society those who are uh, insured taken uh, taking insurance in the insurance company uh, number one is payment for the cost of cover losses uh, reduction of the insured financial uncertainty efficient use of resources support for uh, credit satisfaction of uh, legal requirements satisfaction of business requirements sources of investment funds for infrastructure development the reduction of social burden however the benefit of insurance is not cost free does also cost not cost free there are some direct costs as well as indirect cost which are incurred such as the premium paid operation cost of the insurers opportunity cost increased losses and the cost of law units so these are all the cost uh, involved in the insurance business next one insurance as a contract so now we discussed about insurance as a business here we are going to discuss about the insurance as a contract okay insurance as a contract a contract is a legal binding agreement that creates rights and duties for those who are parties to it because contract is an agreement between contractor and contracting as a contract an insurance policy is a legally enforceable contract yeah it's a legally enforceable contract the contract is between the insurance company and the insured though insurance policies the insured transfer the cost of losses to insurance company in return for the premium paid by the insured the insurers promise to pay for the losses covered under the policy the policy contains all the terms and conditions for its enforceability and the benefits payable by the insured the breach of these conditions by either party will result in the invalidation of the contract thus through the coverage provided by insurance policies the individuals families and business are enabled to protect their assets and minimize the adverse financial effects of losses hence an insurance contract need to be interpreted and carefully designed so that all uh, perfutus uh, losses are covered and insured again definition of contract an agreement enforceable by law is called a contract an agreement enforceable by a law is a contract it creates certain rights and obligations for uh, parties agreeing to it contractor as well as contractee a valid contract is one which uh, the court enforces the contract of insurance is an agreement whereby one party called insurer undertakes in return for all for an agreed consideration called the premium to pay the other party namely the insured a sum of money or its equivalent in kind upon the occurrence of a specified event resulting in loss to him the policy is a document which uh, is an evidence of the contract of insurance now we are going to discuss the requirements of an insurance contract so what are all the requirements of the insurance contract the insurance contract are also governed by the provisions of the indians contract act 1872 in general there are five requirements that are common to all valid contracts these are all the essential characteristics of the contract 
to be legally enforceable and insurance con to be legally enforceable an insurance contract must need or must meet these requirements this is very 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 important one is offer and accept because offer plus agreement offer plus acceptance that equal to agreement offer plus agreement that equal to acceptance okay offer plus acceptance that equal to agreement offer plus acceptance that equal to agreement all agreement are not contract all agreement are not contract here you have to keep in your mind number 1 is offer and acceptance number 2 consideration number 3 capacity i mean uh, eligibility number 4 legal purpose legal requirements then fifth is free consent these are all the five requirements what is offer and acceptance number 2 consideration number 3 capacity number 4 legal purpose number 5 free consent okay now we'll take number 1 there must be a valid offer and acceptance this is very 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 important a person who made an offer a person who is going to accept the offer of the other person everything should be a, a valid one the first requirement of a binding insurance contract is that there must be an offer and an acceptance of its terms in most cases the applicant for insurance makes this offer and the company accepts all uh, rejects accepts or reject the offer an agent merely solicits or invites the prospective insured to make uh, an offer the legal offer by an applicant for insurance must be supported by a ten tender of the premium and uh, it should always be prior to commencement of the coverage the agent usually gives the insured a conditional receipt that provides that uh, acceptance take place when the insurability of the applicant has been determined by the insurer in property and liability insurance the offer and acceptance can be oral or written insurance of a policy may take some time after acceptance due administrative procedures therefore the insurers may in that case issue a cover note for a stipulated period which is also a valid evidence of the contract example in a nature uh, in in a marine insurance contract an oral offer is considered as a valid as the details of the shipment may not be known fully at the time of taking an insurance policy here the oral offer is also considered in all other contract only return only a return offer is valid this is very very important because it should be a return it should be a return okay the second one is promises must be supported by the exchange of consideration okay the promises must be supported by the exchange of consideration a consideration is the value given to each contracting party the insured consideration is made up of the monetary amount paid in premiums plus an agreement to abide by the conditions of the insurance contract the insurer's consideration is in promise to indemnify upon the occurrence of loss due to certain perils to define the insured in legal action or to perform other activities such as inspection or collection services or loss prevention and safety services or as the contract may say specify the amount of premium is not the criteria but a contract of insurance without payment of premium is void third one is parties must have legal capacity the parties must have legal legal capacity to contract 
this requirement of a valid insurance contract is that each party to a contract must be legally competent this is very very important legally capable legally qualified legally competent this means the parties must have a legal capacity to enter into binding contract enter into binding contract parties who have no legally capacity to contract includes insane person person of unsound mind who cannot understand the nature application and liabilities of the contract so now we are discussing about the person who are not eligible to contract uh, who are not eligible to becoming uh, a contract agreement okay the ne next one is intoxicated persons intoxicated persons third one is corporations acting outside the scope of their characters bylaws or articles of uh, incorporation or authority next one is minor minors this is very very important so here these four persons they are not eligible to enter into the contract so regarding minors normally are not uh, legally competent to enter into binding insurance contract but most state have enacted laws that permit minors such as a teenager aged uh, 15 years to enter into a valid life or health insurance contract on the other hand the capacity of an insurer to enter into contract of insurance depends upon its constitution okay the fourth point is agreement uh, must be for legal purposes agreement must be for legal purposes for insurance policies this requirement means that the contract must be neither uh, violated the requirements of insurable interest nor protect or uh, encourage illegal ventures this is very very important we won't encourage the illegal ventures in other words as insurance policy that encourages or promotes something illegal and uh, immoral is uh, uh, contrary to public interest and cannot be enforced in other words it means that the subject matter is uh, of insurance in the proposal for and also the consideration should be legal if there is any contract to defraud the insurer that based on the uh, principles of indemnity uh, the contract is void okay example a street busher of a hari, uh, heroin and other illegal drugs cannot uh, purchase property insurance policy that would cover a uh, seizure of the drugs by the police police by the police okay last one is uh, free consent free consent parties entering into the insurance contract should do so by their free and genuine consent not forced by others here they have to enter the contract their own uh, interest their own uh, decision not that decision will be taken or may be taken by others and others push them to enter into the contract is totally invalid okay in other words the consent uh, shall be deemed to be free of it uh, uh, free if it is not caused by number 1 coercion and influence fraud misrepresentation or mistake so these are all the activities cannot be avoided at the time of entering into the insurance contract okay the person must sign a declaration to this effect explaining the subject matter of the proposal to the proposer the insurance must also fully disclose all detail to the proposer now we are going to discuss about the classification of general insurance or types of general insurance the most common and basic type of insurance property liability life and health or the most common and basic uh, types of insurance are generally divided into two broad categories all put together property liability life and health number 1 property/ liability insurance 
life and health insurance okay number one is property and liability insurance number two life and health insurance these are all the general category general type of general uh, a common type of general insurance now you see the property or and liability insurance okay property and casualty insurance provides coverage for property and net income loss exposure it protects and uh, it protects and insured assets by paying to repair or replace property that is damaged lost or destroyed or by replacing the net income lost and extra expenses incurred as a result of property loss okay liability insurance covers the liability loss exposure it provides for payment payments on behalf of the insured for injury to others or damage to others property for which the insured is legally liable the property and liability insurance uh, industry or generally insurance industry is also called as the property and casualty insurance industry casualty insurance uh, um, encompasses a wide range of insurance protection including protection against auto uh, health workers compensation and liability risk a common practice in property and liability insurance is to classify the industry based on the type of consumer buying the insurance product personal lines insurance is insurance designed to serve the personal risk needs of individuals and families uh, particularly personal motor insurance then home owners insurance commercial lines insurable insurance is insurance tailored 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 to fit the needs of commercial organization commercial lines insurance is insurance tailored to fit the needs of commercial organization commercial uh, uh, liability insu insurance workers compensation uh, commercial auto insurance and the commercial property insurance or some examples of commercial lines insurance okay the next one is life and health insurance life and health insurance covers the financial consequences of human life or personal life or human loss or personal loss exposure life insurance replaces the income earned potential uh, lost uh, lost through death and also helps to pay for expenses relating to insured death health insurance provides additional income security by paying for medical expenses disability income uh, popular in most of the western countries replaces an insured income if the insured is unable to work because of its in, because of injury or illness classification of insurance on the basis of subject matter of uh, insurance okay these are all the uh, following classifications uh, regarding sub subject matter of insurance what is insurance of property so it includes fire burglary motor vehicle machinery uh, plate the class then aircraft in this insurance property insurance property which has intrinsic value of its own is insured against loss or damage by various perils such as fire burglary and accident etc the second one is insurance of liability it it's it, it, it is the insurance of uh, uh, liability regarding to third parties legal liability to employees etc insurance provide uh, protection against financial loss caused by incurring legal liability through negligence or uh, by reason of uh, statutory law uh, they take for example workman compensation third one is insurance of the person the person uh, act, so here it includes personal accident and sickness insurance 
This insurance provides for payment of fixed benefits in the event of death or disablement of the insured due to an accident or disablement due to illness. The last one is insurance of uh, uh, pecuniary losses, loss of profit policies like uh, uh, fertility card guarantees. These are the examples of uh, this type of uh, insurance. This insurance provides uh, protecting against certain consequential losses that result from the material damage. A fertility guarantee policy pays for financial losses suffered by the insured due to act of uh, dishonesty of the employee. Okay, these are all the uh, four types of uh, um, insurance uh, insurance uh, uh, policies. Okay. Some policies, some policies are a combination of a property insurance and a liability insurance. In some cases, some policies are the combination of property insurance and the liability insurance. For example, the comprehensive motor policy provides cover for accidental damage to the vehicles as well as legal liabilities for third party insured injury and property damage. A fire policy on building may include insurance on loss of rent, thus making it a combination of property insurance and pecuniary loss insurance. Okay. Generally, insurance or insurance as seen earlier helps in the mitigation of property and liability losses. General insurance policies are classified into the following categories. So now we are going to classify the general insurance policies. So it is classified as follows. One is fire insurance. Number two is marine insurance. So now hereafter we are going to discuss about the fire insurance and marine insurance in detail. Okay. The third one is miscellaneous insurance. In miscellaneous insurance, comprehensively cover the following insurances. These are all the other insurance, other than life insurance, fire insurance, marine insurance. Okay. So these are motor insurance, health insurance, burglar insurance, cattle insurance, plate and class insurance, liability insurance. Other insurance policies include some interesting type of coverages such as wealth, weather and uh, weather related insurance, change of law insurance, then wedding insurance. So these are all the other insurance uh, uh, in uh, general insurance. Okay. All the above insurance policies are discussed in detail in the subsequent uh, topic. Okay.